We're all taking part of a IGLEO conference, and IGLEO is the international gay and lesbian, bisexual, transgender, and queer youth and student organization. So we have been working all week with the human rights questions. So we are doing this to remember all the people who have died in places and times that haven't been as respectful as these times that some of us are living in and also to remember there are still places in the world where people can die just because of who they are. And where was the conference about? How many days did it take here in Amsterdam to take place in the COC building? It started on Sunday, but some people came already on Saturday. And it will end tomorrow, so we still have one day left of, of thinking about human rights questions. So, and how many people are uh, uh, together from how many countries? We are 80 or 90 participants plus all the organizers and we are from all over the world every all the parts of the world so. and what is your impression uh, so far i think it's been a very good conference and i'm very happy that iglo arranged this because there aren't very many p possibilities and for people all over the world to meet and exchange experiences and especially for, for some people from, for example, Africa and Asia, where people can't be as open about their sexual identity or gender identity, I think it's very important for them to have a gathering place and really like try to create networks and exchange ideas and thoughts and feelings. I think it's so, so, so important that the LGBTQ youth uh, is joining this event and t can bring that back home to their home countries saying that I took part in this event and it meant so much to me and see what we have been doing in Amsterdam. How important are uh, uh, conferences like this for young people today? It is extremely important. Um, I guess if you ask every participant they are feeling empowered they are feeling empowered to get to go home to their home countries where they have uh, struggles uh, where we're hopefully giving them some tools how to um, to to fight these struggles to fight the discrimination in their home countries and in the regions moreover we're also hoping that uh, that these people will go home to their home regions and start networking with others because that is what is very 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 important is that we have the same struggles, no matter if you live in Amsterdam, Copenhagen, Nairobi, in New Delhi, in um, Jakarta, we have the same struggles and that is a strong homophobia, we have a strong transphobia, so we can learn by each other and that is also what the participants can bring home to their home countries.